I am Dr. Rupa, ophthalmologist and lover of all things beauty, and today we're gonna to be talking about hydroquinones and if they are safe to use around the eye. So if you suffer from under eye skin darkening and wanna know, keep watching. So I've been getting a lot of questions about hydroquinones and their safety around the eye area. So if you're like me, you suffer from dark under eye areas. That's just, they call it Indian girl raccoon eye problems. A lot of Indian women have this issue because this pigmentation, we call it periorbital pigmentation, this darkening under your eye area can be genetic. And it is a lot more common in people of color. So. That's me right there. And the reason for that is because we have increased melanin and then other things can increase the melanin even more so. And then we get our beautiful under eye area, which is dark and I feel like I have to always wear concealer. I have great skin otherwise, but I'm really, really sensitive uh, and just really aware of the dark circles under my eyes. I feel like when I actually wear concealer, it just, I look like a different person. Like I can wear nothing else except for some tinted sunscreen and some concealer and a little bit of lip and I'm done. But anyway, so the thing is that the darkness under your eye area, it's worsened by a couple things. First, by eye rubbing. So if you are an eye rubber, like I am also, please stop. It really will help reduce the darkening underneath your eyes. And then some of it is also due to conditions that cause a lot of inflammation. So you might have an allergic contact dermatitis to something or eczema. All of those inflammatory skin conditions can cause the darkening to get worse. And then you gotta just thank your parents, your genes. I do love my dark skin for a lot of different reasons because I am 44 and I don't think that my skin really shows that. And part of that is because of the melanin, but the downside is the darkening underneath the eyes. So melasma, which some of you might experience, and I have, I have a lot of melasma right here, so I've got it covered up with foundation right now, but a lot of melasma, which gets a lot worse in the sun, and then post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from my just very allergic kind of eczema type skin, that's one of the most common reasons. Medications can also worsen the darkening of your eyes. So, if this is a new condition for you, I urge you to seek medical treatment and make sure that there's not something going on medically. There's a lot of endocrine, endocrine problems like Addison's disease, all sorts of uh, metabolic disorders that can cause a change in the darkening underneath your eye. But if this is something you've always had like me, then you can start exploring treatment options with your dermatologist. Again, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm an ophthalmologist, but we're gonna be looking at how that's going to affect your eye area. So hydroquinones are a skin bleaching agent which has been used for over 50 years in many different countries. The land of my parents' birth, India, has a ton of different creams for bleaching the whole face, unfortunately, to get a lighter, more westernized appearance. And though I do not agree with that, I think in small doses to lift areas of, point, pinpoint areas of skin darkening is not a bad thing. However, there were some early studies in rats that showed that there could be an increased risk of cancer in them, but nothing that was demonstrated in humans. So there is that specific safety concern about hydroquinones for that reason. But used in many different countries, Europe, Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, and Africa too, for the bleaching effects. It is the most prescribed bleaching agent worldwide, which is pretty crazy. It comes in strengths from two to 6%. And it really takes about three to seven months to even start to see any kind of effect. So most people are gonna be using it twice a day, at least for three months. However, that being said, it's not something that you generally want to have on for long-term use because there, we'll talk about later, there are some real serious complications that can happen in people that just use it for years and years and years. So the most common side effects of hydroquinones are mild skin irritation, itching, hyperpigmentation, meaning it can make your under eye area darker, which is awful, or even a transient hypo 
chrome, like lightening the skin, but in a way that you don't really want. So hydroquinones are thought to work by inhibiting the conversion of tyrosine to melanin. It's also thought to maybe inhibit the formation of the melanosomes themselves. The melanosomes are like the little um, organelles where the melanin is. Or it's also thought maybe it might inhibit the DNA and RNA synthesis of the melanin. So one of the worst complications of hydroquinones is onchronosis. And that's when it's used for years and years and years. So it's basically this blue-black coloration on the areas that you've been using the hydroquinone. They actually discovered it because they're in tanning and tanneries. They found that the people who were working with all the phenols in the tanneries, when they would wear their rubber gloves, then if they were in, you know, their arms were in the, the solutions with the phenols, then they would get this depigmentation and then eventually this onchronosis, which is that blue-black pigmentation on their arms. So with this really terrible consequence or complication of the hydroquinones, there's actually been one paper which looked at these three African individuals that had been using hydroquinones really long term, such to the point that they had developed this complication. And they developed this complication and they also developed eye findings and complications. So they had striae of their posterior cornea and the cornea is the clear dome-shaped covering of your eye. It's got to be clear because that's what helps you see through it. And striae is kind of think of it like little lines through it. It's showing areas of tension and pressure. So they developed these striae on the cornea. They also developed these plaques on the sclera. The sclera is the white part of the eye. So they developed these plaques on the, the white part of the eye as well. That was in three individuals and they already had this really severe complication of the onchronosis. All of them had it. So they have the blue-black pigmentation already. So it would be really, I think, rare for that to happen in someone who had not yet progressed to the stage of onchronosis. So you would know if you were developing blue black areas underneath your eyes, then obviously please stop the medication. You should be seeing your dermatologist. But this should not be hopefully an ocular complication that you see without getting to that point where you've been using the medication for years and years and years. There's also a triple combination therapy available for lightening underneath the eyes, which has 4% hydroquinone, tretinoin, and then also has a steroid built in, and it is approved by the FDA. The steroid that they use, I wrote it down, is oh, fluconolone acetamide. So that's a steroid. I personally don't like steroids for longer than two weeks anywhere on the eyelid skin. Steroids are going to thin your skin and your eyelid skin is already the thinnest skin in your body. So I would be really concerned about that triple combo medication and do not use it for long term. It's the hydroquinone you can use for months, but you would never want to use a steroid for months and months and months. So if you're going to use a hydroquinone, I would not get it in the triple therapy unless really actively being watched by your dermatologist and also an ophthalmologist to make sure that you don't develop any untoward signs of steroid use in the eyes. Steroids can cause cataracts, they can cause glaucoma, um, when even when they are just applied topically. So you want to be mindful of that. So hydroquinones, can you use them around the eyes? Yes, I did an informal poll of a bunch of women ophthalmologists like myself, and a couple were really loving it. They use it, um, they're committed to it, they've not had any side effects. Remember, this is not a study, this is just a poll of, of my friends here. Some had just were too hesitant, too scared. Like I personally never used a hydroquinone because I've always been a little bit nervous about it because it seems like a, a bleaching agent and I just have such a bad association in my head about that kind of bleaching agent. Um, there are a lot of other types of treatments like vitamin C and kojic acid that you can use, even lasers that wouldn't require hydroquinone that can also depigment these kind of areas of melasma. So if you guys wanna see me do a video on those treatment options for under eye areas, then let me know in the comments below and I can do that for you guys too. But this is something that affects so many of us. So I get it. Like. This is near and dear to my heart. So I think you should be, you know, hydroquinone is, has been studied and it is relatively safe for use around the eyes. Just make sure you are getting careful monitoring with your dermatologist. There's been no signs of dry eye syndrome. 
or meibomian gland dropout the way there is with retinols. And retinols, that happens because it affects your sebum production and affects those meibomian glands. But there's been no evidence that that happens with hydroquinones. It really is just a strict bleaching. Doesn't seem to actually affect the oil glands or anything you know right around the eyelid that would be use necessary for lubricating the surface of your eyes. But if you get to the point where you really have some of these really serious long-term complications, you wanna you wanna stop. So first, stop rubbing. If you're an eye rubber, I'm an eye rubber. If you have allergies, it just releases more chemicals of histamines, which makes you wanna rub your eyes more. And if that's not good enough reason, which honestly it's not a good enough reason for me, then just do it because it's gonna make your dark eyes worse. So stop rubbing. So go ahead and try to do that. That's gonna de just put a halt in that cascade of inflammation. And then you wanna be able to look at some of these other treatment options, but I think that hydroquinone has been used and is recommended by several dermatologists and I personally have never seen a ocular complication from it, okay? Hope that was helpful, guys. Like I said, if you are interested in some of the other treatments for under eye pigmentation, darkening, or periorbital hyperpigmentation as we call it, let me know, drop them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much, and until next time, mahalo.